for two more rounds, then we'll get to cut to the top eight, get three more rounds of uh, single elimination. A lot of rounds today. How many total. Jun decks will there be? I say four. You say four? Um, I'll go with three, just like the Pro Tour. I didn't get a good look at uh, West, uh, Brian's hand, but I think he's going to cast Nether Reliquary here. I think I caught a glimpse of that guy. Knight is now going to be a 4-4 if he plays it, so it's out of Lightning Bolt range. That's usually the plan, right? Yeah. Usually don't play Knight before it's a 4-4. So now all the red decks got to play cards that do 4 damage. How many of those are there? None? Burst Lightning. That doesn't do it well enough. No. So, so when are we going to see 2 mana for red that does 4 damage? Is I don't know. Happen? We got close with uh, Flame Javelin, I suppose. I guess. It's 3 mana. Or actually, it's 6. Technically. So we get a it's really great in your Swans deck. Am I right? I liked it in Swans. I, I liked it too. I blew a uh, Fairy's player out because he went turn four misspine click. It was just like flame javelin. Nice, nice life. But anyway, back to the game. Looks like Brian w West plays a Malkir Blood Witch, and Brian's got uh, another Nether Royal Cray in his hand. Although the pro white from the Blood Witch is going to stop any offense that the Knight of the Royal Quarry is trying to give. Right, it takes one from fetching up this forest. So that knight actually gets a little bit bigger also. And we're going to get a second knight, looks like we're going to cast. He's contemplating Or a behemoth sludge. sludge, yeah. If you want... Uh, I think you want two knights just to get them bigger than the blood witch so that you can attack around them. Probably better than trying to sludge one up. Yeah, I think you get two knights this turn and then go for sludge equip next turn. Which you can do because of the knight activations. I don't, I don't think I agree with this play. Because not, not, a, not a very good use of time. Except, although, <laughs> although maybe he knew that uh, West was going to draw a Maelstrom Pulse and didn't want to play into that beast of a card. Sprouting Thranax comes out. And is it Oblivion Ring? Oh, Bane Slayer comes down for Brian. Not too good against the uh, Malakir Blood Witch, though, and it's probably promptly going to get pulsed, the Bane Slayer, that is. Also, Brian forgot to use his Knight that turn, at the end of the turn, and that was a mistake. Probably want to use that one every turn you can. Yeah. Although now, when his opponent goes Maelstrom Pulse on the Bane Slayer, he has the opportunity to go Sariji, sacrifice a planes, go get Sariji step, give my Bane Slayer protection from, from black. Yeah, it could be he's just playing around um, the first removal spell. Instead, the Behemoth Sludge gets Maelstrom Pulse. That's definitely the play there, because it's obvious that he's got the Sariji step. Right, but now, obviously, I don't see why he wouldn't have used... Yeah, especially when his opponent's tapped out. Yeah. It seems pretty atrocious. Fan your deck, make your guy bigger. Although he draws another Behemoth Sledge off the top. And he's the ability to cast it this turn and equip it if he knows how to do the Knight of the Reliquary tr trick. It is pretty tricky, so... We'll see what happens. 
play Stirring Wildwood. There's a sledge. Are we going to equip the sledge? Nope, we're going to pass. We're still going to play around um, any removal spell with Night of Reliquary. Yeah, that's that's a reason why you should have... Uh, it didn't matter if you played the second night. Because you yeah, still had active yeah. night. Lightning Bolt off the Cascade from Bloodbright Elf. He's trying to figure out what he could target. And it looks like it's a face. Yeah. Target your face. I mean, like, in a position right now where his opponent, West is holding up Terminate mana, it makes sense maybe not to do Knight of the Reliquary in a turn. But last turn, when he was tapped out, I think he just made a mistake and forgot. So Brian untaps, draws a uh, mountain. Brian still has that second Knight in his hand, right? Yep. We're going to equip. We're just going to start gaining life through the protection from white creature. So we're able to gain... Gain seven. Three. We're going to gain three. Sorry, yeah. Gain, gain three. Take three. Why well, is he a 17? Because the judge doesn't know how protection from white works. I don't think he gained seven because of protection. Did he only gain three? Nope. Protection from white prevents the damage, so the damage is never dealt, so lifelink never gains you the life. Yeah, you can just like, look at uh, the and West draws Sprouting yeah. Thrynex. What's in Wes's hand? Oh, land in the Thrynax. Not very exciting. So you draw a Great Sable Sack. Looks like there's also, is that an Oblivion Ring? Yeah, Oblivion Ring in his hand. Great Sable Sack, Oblivion Ring. And what was his third card? It's only two cards. It's only two? Yeah, okay. pretty sure. So, goes again for the take three, gain three plan. Maybe one turn he's going to build up until his opponent's at seven, and then go get Sriji step, give his guy protection from, from black, get him for a full seven. So Oblivion Ring is going to take out a random card that isn't doing anything. No, it's actually kind of important because it allows it allows uh, Brian to go get Sriji step and name black and give all his creatures protection from black, make them all unblockable for one turn. Uh, how's it, it gives all your creatures protection? Oh, sorry. sorry. I'm thinking of Brave the Elements for some reason. Oh. But it only works on right creatures also. Yeah. Like, maybe he has Brave the Elements. Pretty sure he doesn't, but... But if he's... Why didn't he use Knight of the Reliquary last turn at end of turn just to pump him up more? I think... Well, I mean, right now the the this this game is pretty much in hand because of Great Sable Stag and Life Link because because now he has no outs to get Great Sable Stag. But if he'd been using the Knight of the Reliquary that the whole time, not only would his deck be super thin, but his Knight of the Reliquary would be big enough so that it would be possible to just get Suriji Step to put it on your Knight of the Reliquary and then attack in for nine. And all of you who are wondering what type of tokens you get, there, there's a little sample. Those three um, Goblin tokens, thanks to Siege Gang. Nice GG's Live tokens. Class up your tokens. Instead of using cigarettes, I've seen that one before. Televisions. C cigarettes kill. Just let everyone know. Orange peels. 